Hey guys, just a quick little video on an obscure little pistol. This is the Beretta Model 70, and that's how it's supposed to look. That's how it looks in Canada. That's right, we've got some silly barrel length restriction laws, and if you have a pistol with a barrel that short, apparently it's way more dangerous than one that's that long. Now this is longer than it should be, a, uh, a full 50 millimeters could come off that and it would still be legal. So I may end up sending this to the gunsmith and getting it chopped down and uh, moving the front sight back to there. Um, but we'll see. Regardless, it's a neat little gun. Uh, like I said, the Beretta Model 70. Um, it's uh, a 22 caliber semi-automatic pistol. It comes with one magazine and uh, where I got it from Trigger Wholesale, actually I got this as a, uh, a door prize at the 2013 Ipsic Nationals, it actually came with the second magazine. We'll talk about the magazines here in a second. First of all, let's look at the gun itself. It's a single action, uh, which means that the hammer must be cocked before firing. The gun uh, will not fire with the hammer down. And just for all the safety sallies out there, the gun is in fact empty. Uh, so the hammer has two positions, well three I suppose, down, half cock, where you can then engage the safety, or full cock, where you can then engage the safety. So uh, you can carry it in a couple of different configurations, of course, that assuming that uh, you can carry a pistol where you live. Here in Canada, of course, we can't. We can only shoot them at the range. The, uh, the pistol does have an automatic last shot slide lock so the, the slide locks back on the last shot and the magazine release is actually in a funny spot it's down here at the bottom so that will take a little bit of getting used to the magazine itself holds eight rounds which is kind of odd if you ask me because the Marlin 795 magazines which are actually shorter hold 10 so figure that one out so let's talk about the magazines for a minute uh, this is on the left, the factory magazine that comes with a pistol, and on the right is a Norinco copy. And as you can see right away, there are some key differences. The base plates are different shapes. The Norinco one is definitely a bit wider, and it's also made out of plastic, while this one appears to be made out of aluminum. Uh, on the tops, you can see, actually you might not be able to see, but the Norinco one actually has a bit of material cut away underneath here which actually helps feed the rounds because as you can see in the Norinco or sorry in the uh, factory one I just got back from the range and uh, this happened on a fairly regular basis with the first shot the first shot would just smack right into the side of the magazine or into the front here and then just stop um, after the first shot the rest of them fed no problem but the first shot always seemed to get hung up so what I may end up doing on the uh, factory magazine is actually just take the Dremel and remove just a little bit there to see if I can stop that from happening. Otherwise, both magazines feed perfectly fine. Um, they both hold eight rounds. Um, you can see the factory one does have a stamp on it that says uh, that it was made in Italy, um, 22 caliber, and it's uh, it is eight rounds, like I said. So, anyway. I think what I'm going to do just for fun, now I wouldn't recommend doing that with this one because this is your factory one, this one is uh, worth quite a bit more than your Norinco mag, but I'm going to actually take uh, the grinder or something to this and actually make this just a regular base plate here instead of having the, the finger curl, just just to see what it looks like and uh, probably square off or round off the, uh, the sharp edges here, but um, yeah. So here is the final result of uh, the filing and uh, dremeling and grinding that I did on the base plate. You can see it's uh, a lot less obtrusive now. Um, it fits in the gun a bit more flush uh, and I notice absolutely no difference when shooting it. I, my finger doesn't actually touch the extension on this magazine. The only reason why I leave this one on is of course this is the factory one and I wouldn't want to mess with that. Let's show you how it comes apart. So you slide the slide back and rotate that to the takedown position and then it just slides right off like that. The internals is just exactly what you'd expect from a single action uh, pistol. And this comes apart very much like just about any other. So that goes flying off of course. And then the barrel 
slides out just like that. Now, you can see the Model 70, this in fact is the Model 72. The Model 70 would have a front sight here and a barrel uh, that would not have a sight on it. Where this is the Model 72, it actually came with two barrels, um, the 6-inch barrel and then a 3.5-inch barrel. And they both had their sights on the barrel so that you could actually interchange them. Um, so yeah, that's why that slot is cut out in the front there. Um, the front sight is not adjustable and the rear sight is adjustable for drift uh, left and right by uh, just hitting that with a brass punch and drifting that left and right. Um, it has an extractor just like uh, any other gun would right here. It extracts very positively. The, uh, the, the empty brass goes flying when you shoot it so that's pretty neat. Anyway, let's see if I can get some footage of uh, this shooting and then uh, we'll put this back together and uh, yeah. All right, reassembly time. An interesting thing to note on this as well is that it is perfectly safe to dry fire. I have been dry firing this thing almost since I got it and uh, it does impact the top of the shell but it does not actually impact the face of the barrel so it's actually perfectly safe to dry fire a nice feature if you ask me anyway I hope you enjoyed the video it's a neat little gun trigger wholesale has them on for I believe around 350 or 360 and it does come with that spare magazine it's an accurate little pistol um, a lot of fun to play with so I recommend one if you're looking for something inexpensive accurate and small anyway thanks for watching we'll catch you guys next time